Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our lovely City Council meeting, um, Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. Please call the roll. Mayor Murrow. Here. Vice Mayor Messer. Here. Mrs. Monroe. Mr. Shope. Mr. Matthews. Here. Mr. Schaefer. Here. Mr. Cope. Here. And a motion to excuse Council Member Shope and Monroe. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? All right, please stand for the invocation and pledge. Good and gracious God, thank you for bringing us here today uh, to represent our community, to be in relationship with one another. Uh, you have put us all here for a definite purpose. You have inspired us to work towards the common good. And while we may disagree upon the methods of there, we all seek unity. We all seek the goodness of our neighbors, the goodness of our, our nation, of our state, and of our city. Uh, inspire us this evening to be good stewards of the responsibilities you have put upon us. Guide us in our decisions, uh, in, in unity when necessary, and wisdom in all type things. Uh, and please pray for us, especially uh, after this Independence Day, that we may be, always be laboring uh, in pursuit of the gifts of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, if Council would first take a look at consideration of regular meeting minutes, June 22nd, 2021, and a motion to adopt. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Uh, discussion or comment? Please call the roll. Mr. Cope? Yes. Mr. Schaefer? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mayor Brewer? Yes. Vice Mayor Messer? Yes. In consideration of work session, meeting minutes July 5th, 2021, and a motion to adopt. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Discussion or comment? Please call the roll. Mr. Cope? Yes. Mr. Schaefer? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mayor Brewer? Yes. Vice Mayor Messer? Yes. All right, moving on to recognition. I believe we have one individual that would like to speak. So, Cecilia, please come on up. And just a point of record, just to state your name and address for the record. Thank you. Um, so, Thanks for being here. Sorry. Um, my name is Cecilia Kovacic, and I live at 977 Belvedere Drive in Lebanon, Ohio. Um, I've lived in Lebanon, Ohio my entire life, and I even had you as my art teacher. Sure. Um, I admired you because you let us use our own minds to uh, create our art, and uh, you were pretty much Miss Frizzle to me, which is pretty awesome. Um, now I'm a preschool teacher, so um, I know the term for that is called open-ended art. Um, basically, it focuses on the process that the child takes versus the end product, um, allowing the child to create the art as they want it to be. I'm sure you know that. Um, I give them an example, but if they want to make a house with three doors, I let them because it's their house, not mine. Um, as I grew older, I realized that the kind of uh, freedom to choose what color I wanted my house is deeper than that. I can dye my hair any color I want. I can get tattoos if I want. I can choose to use tampons or pads if I want, yet I have no control whether or not I become a mother. To me, that's a bigger decision than deciding whether to make my house green or red. Um, I have to say, I'm really disappointed in your guys' decision on making this ordinance. Um, and I do think it's very hypocritical for you guys to make this decision, yet during a literal global pandemic, not one of you guys wore masks. Um, so, um, uh, so it's your body and your choice, unless you're a young woman trying to find adequate health care. So I see that now. Um, I would like to ask if the members of this council are going to purchase tampons for my period, because it's going to come up soon. Um, I see none of you are saying yes, so um, what happens when I have a baby? Are you going to pay for that? But you're not going to purchase my tampons? All right. Um, when I was 18, I was raped multiple times. Um, and I can tell you with 100% certainty, if I had gotten pregnant and did not have access to abortion health care, I would have ended my life. Um, I cannot even imagine what I would have done with your guys' ordinance. I would have had to carry that child, hating it, because it reminds me every single day of my attack. Um, when I see the baby's face, I would have to imagine my rapist's face forcing himself inside of me after I told him no. 
Um, I'm not sure if you truly understand what pro-choice means. If you don't like abortion, then don't have one. That's your choice, and I respect that. Um, um, when the child inevitably asked about their father, because I will not talk to him, I would have to say, sorry kid, your father's a rapist, and I was forced to give birth to you because my community just doesn't like abortion. Um, I attended the council meeting the night you guys made this ordinance, um, and so many awesome ladies I know spoke for our right to choose, and a lot of men spoke on behalf of my uterus, restricting my future. Um, do I go around telling you guys that you can't wear condoms because it could end up as a baby one day? Have I ever said that? No, I haven't. Um, it was so discouraging to see the men talk about my uterus. Um, I don't know which part hurt more, the fact that I didn't know most of them or the fact that I did know some of them and not one of them asked my opinion about my uterus. Um, I know you're going to go home and forget probably everything that I say, but I want you to realize that right now, I can't go home and leave it at the door. I have to live with this because you guys don't want me to have an abortion. Um, uh, sorry, I lost my spot. If you were truly pro-life, and that's fine if you are, you'd be advocating for the children that need food at the Lebanon Food Pantry. Um, I've not seen any of you guys there once, and my family has been volunteering there for as long as I can remember, actually, and I've not seen any of you guys there once, sorry. Um, you'd be helping the children in interfaith, interfaith hospitality network at your churches, which I don't know if you guys are religious or not, but I think you are because of this ordinance, and that's fine if you are, I respect that. Um, that's once a month. Um, you'd be listening to women's rape stories to learn how we can prevent these unwanted pregnancies. Um, and I know it's not easy to listen to because it's terrible, not only for the woman, but if I had to carry that child, it would be awful too. Um, before you dare consider yourself pro-life, you need to truly understand what that means. Um, you're not even halfway there, you're only partway there, because you'd be advocating for the Lebanon Food Pantry, like I've said, you'd be helping IHN, you'd be volunteering at the Women's Center, you'd probably be at the hospitals right now, helping the newborn babies and their mothers with everything that they need. Um, if you advocate for the already born children, you need to start on the already born children because they matter more to me. But um, in conclusion, we have a lot to think about. And uh, we need to think about the born babies before we think about the unborn babies. Um, we need to educate ourselves on the risks this will, this will bring. Um, I know it's not going to affect any of you, but it affects me and my sisters and my, um, my friends, the neighbors that I don't even know that I have. Um, you don't know my neighbors either because you didn't ask them about it. Um, we need to focus on the resources and uh, options women are gaining as this one is being taken away from us illegally. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I think there is one more person that wanted to speak. If you want to come up. Good evening, Council. Um, our viewers, if we have viewers this evening, and fellow citizens. I am Alicia Lipton from Main Street, Lebanon. Just want to give a shout out. Everybody needs a little Christmas right now. Um, we need people in downtown. We need people celebrating. So we are going to host Christmas in July, on Saturday, July 24th. So we would love to see everybody down there. Even dress up as Santa if you'd like. Um, or maybe Santa in his summer attire. Um, also, as we look ahead a little bit, I want to get out there, girls' night out on August the 14th. That is always 4 to 9 p.m. Again, downtown Lebanon. And would appreciate seeing everybody there. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, everyone, we'll uh, move on to previous business. Um, number one, ordinance number 2021-060. Ordinance number 2021-060 is an ordinance approving an amendment to the official zoning map for 818 Cincinnati Avenue as recommended by the Planning Commission. Mr. Brooke. This ordinance approves a zoning amendment to change 11.87 acres from light industrial to light industrial PUD for the Creeches Landscaping and Garden Center at 818 Cincinnati Avenue. Essentially, the, the PUD designation just allows uh, some of the non-conformities that currently exist on the property 
to get into compliance with our um, zoning code. And it's something that we've been working uh, closely with Creeches with for a few months to, to make this happen. So I'll entertain a motion to adopt. Similar. Is there a second? Second. Great, thank you. Discussion or comment? I just wanted to say some of the stuff that Creeches has wanted to do out there is really nice. They're wanting to add greenhouses and, and uh, safer um, points for their customers and their employees to get in and out of there. So I'm excited to see all the changes that will be taking place out there. Great, thank you. Please call the roll. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Mr. Cope. Yes. Mayor Brewer. Yes. Vice Mayor Messer. Yes. Mr. Schaefer. Yes. Moving on to new business. Number one, resolution number 2021-063. Resolution number 2021-063, authorizing the city manager to apply for a Clean Ohio Fund NRAC grant to support the purchase of approximately 60 acres of public park space. Mr. Brecka. This resolution authorizes a grant application for $2,235,000 from the Clean Ohio Trail Fund to purchase 60 acres of land located off of State Route 63 and to perform trail improvements throughout the property, which would include paved surface trails. And the map here does um, show the, the proposed park space. Um, this is State Route 63 here. Uh, this is kind of the Cardinal landscaping property on the other side. Uh, this is the Parkside development that's in the very conceptual phase right now um, and, and hasn't gone through the process, but as a central component to the proposed development would be the 60-acre public park uh, that would preserve a really nice um, greenway through there um, and would also include the construction of a paved trail, uh, which ultimately uh, would be extended into downtown Lebanon and extended farther west, hopefully in the future, to get out to Armco Park, Union Village, uh, some of the amenities that are located outside the city, uh, just outside our corporate boundaries. Uh, so the grant application is due in early September. Uh, this would essentially authorize staff to submit the grant application. Um, Turtle Creek Township did pass a resolution last night at their meeting of support uh, for the grant as well. So we've been working uh, closely with them on the project. Great. Um, I will entertain a motion to adopt. Sponsored, yes. Great. And is there a second? Oh. Is there a second? <laughs> Joe. Yeah, Start. I'll take the second on that. All right, and um, um, any discussion I, or comment? Yeah, I'm, I, go ahead, Joe. I, j I, did, I did want to make one thing clear. I know that there's going to be some senior development going on here and you know, pushing west, there's there's a lot of that. And I'm gonna be on board with this so long as we keep the conversation going about more emergency service workers to protect the seniors that we're gonna import that are gonna live here. Um, but yeah, if we can get grant funds to acquire that, that'd be great. Yeah, no, this, is, this is really exciting. And, and to be clear, tonight's vote is only for the green part. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but this is great. Since I first got involved on Parks and Rec, and we've been trying to create this bicycle network, and we never could quite get that piece of how to get from downtown to Armco. And being able to find this, especially with the grade and especially through a nice treed uh, pathway is really exciting. So, glad to see that coming to fruition and glad Turtle Creek Township's uh, coming along. Looks like a good place to go trick or treating too. <laughs> yeah. All right, anybody else? Please call the roll. Vice Mayor Messer. Yes. Mr. Schaefer. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Go? Yes. Mayor Brewer. Yes. Number two, ordinance number 2021-064. Ordinance number 2021-064, an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with dirt artisans to construct new mountain bike trails and associated amenities at the Premier Health Atrium Medical Center Bike Park as approved by an NRAC grant. Brecca. This ordinance authorizes a contract with Dirt Artisans to design and construct approximately four miles of mountain bike trails at the Premier Health Atrium Medical Center Park 
Bike Park. The total cost of the project is $200,070. Uh, this will be offset by an NRAC grant in the amount of $150,000, uh, which the city's already secured. The, the NRAC grant is the same grant that we're pursuing for the, the prior project. And this one is a, a first reading? Correct. So I'll we'll entertain a motion for a first reading. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay, and then oh we God. will see this and vote on this at our next meeting. Uh, moving on to three, <coughs> ordinance number 2021-065. Ordinance number 2021-065 is an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with Barrett Paving Materials for reconstruction of new street and utility replacements and declaring an emergency. Mr. Rucka. This ordinance authorizes a contract with the Barrett Paving Materials in the amount of $1,945,949.20 to reconstruct New Street between North Broadway and North Lane. Um, there's also a significant amount of utility work. Um, there's a public meeting on site uh, tomorrow night for the residents. I uh, hope to get the project started uh, here shortly. Great. So I will entertain a motion to adopt. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Discussion or comment? Yeah. Um, I don't think I've seen Jurgensen putting in too many bids on any of our projects. Are they are they just not biting on anything, or are they too um, busy with other stuff? I'm assuming. I mean, historically, they they did a lot of our work, so I think a lot of times it's just based on their workload. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember if they were a bidder on this or not. I'm pretty sure they bid our paving contract earlier this year. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, it's. Uh, I think with these contractors, a lot of it's just kind of what, what additional work they can absorb at the time. Mm -hmm. I know they're really busy over in Middletown. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe why, but. Anything else? Nope, thanks. All right. Motion to adopt. Please call the roll. Mr. Schaefer? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mayor Brewer? Yes. Vice Mayor Messer? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Um, number six, resolution number 2021-066. Resolution number 2021-066 is a resolution approving the 2022 city staff pay plan. Mr. This resolution approves the 2022 city staff pay plan. Uh, what it will support is a 1.25% cost of living increase and a 1.5% performance increase for all non-union staff members. Uh, we're also, um, would be budgeting an additional performance bonus of $250. Um, this would not affect the employee's base pay, um, and it would only be distributed uh, through a mid-year, mid-2022 review of the city's financial health. But just due to the tight labor market we're experiencing right now, high inflation, uh, we felt like we wanted to um, you know, try to do something just to ensure that we're, we're retaining our outstanding employees. Um, so what this does is really sets the um, you know, the basis for how we begin developing the operating budget, which um, Dan and I have already started. Great. So I'll entertain a motion <coughs> to adopt. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Discussion or comment? Please call the roll. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Mr. Cope. Yes. Mayor Brewer. Yes. Vice Mayor Messer. Yes. Mr. Schaefer. Yes. Number five, resolution <laughs> number 2021-067. Uh, Resolution number 2021-067 is a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute change orders to support additional paving work related to the 2021 paving program and Sycamore Street reconstruction. Mr. Brecka. This resolution approves paving work in areas, specific areas that we've identified with poor pavement condition. And uh, I think the key point is this, you know, this work can be accommodated within our existing budget. So essentially when we bid out um, our annual paving contract and the Sycamore Street reconstruction earlier this year. Both projects came in under budget, which is the good news. Uh, so what we're requesting of City Council is to authorize a change order to allow us to do this additional road work um, within, again, the confines of what's already been appropriated in this year's budget. It would include uh, kind of the access drive that runs behind the Armory and Roberts Field, uh, the Sycamore Street parking lot, which is in poor condition. Uh, there's a couple alleys uh, that we need to work on, and then um, kind of the uh, loop in Harmon Park. So that's the, the main gist of the work. Great, and I will entertain a motion to adopt. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Discussion or comment? I'd like to make a comment that I think this is a good steward uh, of, of the resources of the city moving forward with this, and, you know, that's what 
that's what our jobs are is to provide service to the city to our residents and this is a good move great thank you please call the roll Mr. mayor messer yes mr schaefer yes mr matthews yes mr cope yes mayor Burr. yes uh, number six ordinance number 2021-068 Ordinance number 2021-068 is an ordinance authorizing the city manager to execute renewal agreements with various banks for the deposit of active funds per Ohio Revised Code Section 135.01 and Section 7.03 of the City of Lebanon Charter and declaring an emergency. Mr. Brecca. This resolution authorizes the renewal of agreements with LCMB, Sutton Bank, and U.S. Bank for the deposit and active funds within the city. All right, and a motion to adopt. So moved. Thank you, is there a second? Second. Discussion or comment? Please call the roll. Mayor Brewer? Yes. Mr. Cope? Yes. Vice Mayor Messer? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Schaefer? Yes. All right, um, city manager's report. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. So this is the last city council meeting of July. Uh, so the next uh, meeting of council will be a work session on Tuesday, August 3rd up in these chambers. And I would like to remind folks the city is um, hosting a free Shakespeare in the Park play this Saturday in Bicentennial Park at 7 p.m. So invite folks to come down and enjoy some uh, free family entertainment. Great. That's all I have, Mayor. And no executive session. So That's correct, Your Honor. Discussion <laughs> items. Council Member Schaefer, do you have anything to say? Um, no, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Council Member Cook? No, ma'am. Um, Vice Mayor Messer. No, ma'am. Um, Councilor uh, Matthews. Um, very excited for the fair coming up. Oh, yeah, so. oh, we won't meet before then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I will entertain a motion to close the meeting. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> Please call the roll. <laughs> Mayor Burr. Yes. Vice Mayor Messer. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Mr. Schaefer. Yes. Mr. Cope. Yes. Uh, thank you for joining our meeting Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. Remember that we do not have a meeting until August 3rd. Look forward to seeing everyone in attendance. Um, have a great rest of the week. Thank you.